Now, for the last time this year, personal stylist Trudy Bennett is here to help us with choosing the right neckline for your shape. Morning, Trudy. Good morning, now. Okay, so how important is it to know your neckline? Very important. Uh, I mean, it can be the make or break of an outfit. It can be a great outfit, and if the neckline's wrong... It's funny, isn't it? Sometimes you put something on it and you think it should look good and it just doesn't look quite right. So for me, what would be a good neckline for me? So for you, well, there's, first of all, there's three factors that are contributed to a neckline. What you've got to look for. Number one, shoulders. Yeah. Number two neck length, number three, bust size. Okay. So it's all about which of those factors that we want to sort of minimalise a bit. Yeah. So for you, for small, instance... Small, big, Small average. and broad, and, and actually fairly long neck, mm -hmm. you'd go about midway. Okay. Okay, so for someone like me, small, narrow and long neck, high neckline, okay? So I'm trying to create the illusion that there is more. Okay. There isn't, I clearly. see. Right, what have you got here for us to have a look at? So the next, you know, the next other um, shape we've talked about is the person that's got a shorter neck and a larger bust. So what do you do for that? They need a lower neckline. And I'm not talking low like showing the cleavage. No. Get Hello. The, Hello. Puppies out. Yeah. No, we're talking about above the cleavage but lower. Now what that does is it elongates the neck and it makes the bust look smaller. So, okay. also what's really great for that neckline is the crossover. So see how that crosses over? That actually cuts through um, the bust if you have a particularly large bust and it makes it look a little smaller. Okay, that's a beautiful shape. What about on somebody who's got a smaller bust? Will that look okay? Yes, and again, you can work that because what you would do, you would actually put something underneath it to bring that neckline up a bit higher. So how do you figure out what is best for you then? So you think about your neckline, uh, sorry, you think about your neck length, you think about the shoulders and you think about the bust. Neck is okay. not something you ever think about though. I, I know, but you, if you think about it, if you had sort of a shorter woman that had a shorter neck, if you have that neck line slightly lower, what you're doing is you're elongating. You're elongating the neck there. Okay, so somebody like that should never be wearing the turtle turtlenecks. Yes, and we're going okay. to see a little bit of example of that. Actually, let's look on. at these pictures now. These are celebrities who have not followed what they should be doing. That's right. Okay. That is right. So. Okay, hello, what's that? That's Kara Knightley, and she is very small busted, and that is her wearing a very low cut top. It's like she put a towel around her and forgot to get dressed. <laughs> and again, here we have, you know, very small bust and just... Can I just say as well, the colour, ugh, not so great, but not great on her body shape. Okay, and what about this one here? Look how beautiful that is. You see how she's filled in that spot? So actually, it looks fabulous on her. It's a beautiful colour as well. It is a gorgeous colour. Kim Kardashian, you know, lover or hater, that is, let's just say, a truly tragic colour on her. Um, and that neckline is so wrong for her on every level, just because it, it's too high. This is better? This is okay, but not great. Okay. You wait till you'll see better. There okay. we go. I mean, you know, she looks absolutely magnificent. See how she actually looks um, slimmer and her neck looks longer purely because we've brought that neckline down. Wow, she does. She looks absolutely beautiful there. Okay. Yes, she does. So what would be your favourite neckline? Mine is, is high. I have to really bring it up high because I'm actually trying to shorten my neck a little bit mm -hmm. and, like I said, create the illusion that there's things going I've always thought like a big a big sort of wide neckline is good for me it is good um, and again it's that medium length and this is why this looks really nice on you because again we've cut through to that medium length so it's chopped your shoulders into smaller segments okay. meaning that they look smaller I was a great swimmer too when I was young I've got such broad <laughs> shoulders. I always swim my mum anyway okay so uh, finally for something from here that is your absolute favorite well you know what I am going to show this because we ha I had someone contact me after watching the show and saying Trudy can you please just talk a little bit and we might do a whole show on mm -hmm. it on something that's actually going to be flattering on the tummy as well. Okay. So this is a great neckline that's going to actually suit a lot of people. And because it actually crosses over there, okay, it's really flattering on the tummy too. It's like too. a little slight little It just, just floats across, so it just okay. gives that beautiful illusion. That is an entire different show. We are definitely coming back we in should the new do year that. and we are talking tummies. Thank yes. you so much, you are Trudy. You welcome. And now, if you want some more top tips from Trudy, check out her website, wardrobeflare.com. Now, over to Holly.